Yeah, sorry about that, y'all. The devil didn't want y'all to hear that. <laughs> Give y'all a chance to get over here. The devil didn't want you to hear it. Mm. Won't he steal your joy? No, the devil does not steal your joy. This joy that I have. So, the sermons and the, the church services are very orchestrated. They are made to have, you know, a slow beginning, a crescendo, and an emotional end. Um, even when I was on a praise team. Okay. Even when I was on a praise team, um, we knew how to order the songs to get the response that we wanted. We knew how to order order the songs to get the response from ourselves that we wanted. We knew how to um got you. Uh, we knew how to how to get those things flowing. We knew how to do that and we were very aware of it. So I guess the question you have to ask yourself is do you really feel that way? You gonna be in the A on Friday? Um <laughs> we's back. Um you have to ask yourself, is your response really a response? Or, you know, I live in Charlotte. <laughs> I live in Charlotte. I, everybody thinks I live in Atlanta. Yeah, I actually live in Charlotte. Just all my people in Atlanta. So I probably do. Everybody thinks I live in Atlanta. It's probably because I share stuff from Atlanta. Yeah, I, I'm a little backwards. Um. Whatever. Anyway, um, that's why you couldn't spell it. So, but you, I want, so now when I go to church, I go into it with the understanding of what I'm walking into. Um, not to guard myself, but so that I don't let my, um, to yay yays, I, I don't know. Cause they having a the sidewalk sale. I think that would be nice to go to. Um, but the thing is, is that it's like, I just don't like being blind. I don't like being um, so emotional that I can't hear. I cannot hear. And you also, as a woman, that's something that I believe personally that they play into because they know that as women, we are in touch with our emotions. I don't like to say we're emotional like it's a weakness because it's not. Um, but we're very in touch with spirit and the trap, the energy can travel really quickly from one of us to the other, mm -hmm. um, travel from one woman to another very quickly because we tend to be open and we really tend to be open in environments where, um, where we feel safe and church is one of those environments for a lot of women. That's why you see so many women in church. So imagine all that orchestration going on, that emotional orchestration going on and it's full of women who are open and feeling safe and how quickly that can go through um a place so um did y'all have any questions before i go again i can see my reflection on the camera huh y'all have any questions i don't know if it froze or not even though even though what even though yes You need to meet. You need to meet. You need to meet me. Well, until you meet me, we can Skype or something. I'm available. I'm available to you. Um, I think I got some time tomorrow. My um Skype is why women do as they please. But just message me on Facebook so we can figure out the time. Um, did y'all have any more questions? No. Ain't nobody trying to move out the out the country. Don't nobody want to live in New York City with you, ma'am. I'm trying to move further into the country. When I lived in Valdosta, Georgia, it was actually uh <laughs> 
<laughs> it was actually pretty nice. I liked it. The um, why not move out of the country? No, I like it's. I really like. I just want to be further south, mostly because of the the weather. So. But it's still cold. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Y'all weather don't warm up as fast. Just come on down here. Come on down, y'all. <laughs> Miami is nice, yeah. I've been to Miami. That's where that Bible Hour was from. Whatever. Florida will be awesome. Do you? Okay. Miami, welcome to Miami. I'm here to go get in the bed. If y'all don't have no more que questions for me, I just didn't want to leave y'all hanging and not finish the thought. I would love to come back to Miami. I shall come back to Miami. You sent a question? Where did you send it? Did you send it on Facebook? Don't send it anywhere. Ask me. Y'all see these bags under my eyes? I stayed up late the other night, and I haven't recovered yet from having indigestion. What's your question? Tell me, tell me. I want to know. Did I miss it? Wait a minute. Somebody had a question. I can't go snuggle to answer the question. Oh, yeah. I want to do that. I want to do the sensory deprivation chamber so much. And have you seen the one where you float? Yes. Yes. When you float in the salt water sensory deprivation chamber, um, I have my sight set on doing that. The only thing is I want to find a place that's reputable because I want to make sure that the salt water is clean. Yes. The pods. Yeah. Um, it's like you're in like a it looks like a big egg and it's filled with salt water and so it makes you really buoyant you know um so that's what i want to do and and really i think for me excuse me with a mind that is constantly going i think it would be really helpful with me calming that down and being able to um connect better with my own spirit because y'all know my thing is i'm not really up here spiritual i'm not really like out in the ethos you know i'm not really ethereal but yes yes very much that is okay you just made sense of what i've been trying to say that that womb that spirituality to me that we come here with that connectedness um that's why one of my favorite books is um crap the celestine prophecy that that book taught me a lot it's a it's a factual fiction book. If y'all haven't read The Celestine Prophecy, I really enjoyed that book. Um, it helped me to kind of visualize um, what energy and connectedness looks like. So, yeah, I might reread that book. But, yeah, I'm looking into those. Um, but I want to know, like, how often do y'all change the water? How do you clean out the tank? You know, because it's like a swimming pool. But I'm like, you don't have any chlorine in here, so how do I know this is clean? So, um, thank you actually for that reminder. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, because I can't be swimming in somebody else's pee. I don't, I don't, mm -mm. no, that, that would be gross. I can imagine, so, <laughs> shut up, Jamila. I can imagine so that it would be, a, a the, um, those, um, saltwater pods passion. It's like, it looked like a big egg and they open it up and then the ends, right. In the inside, it's just like really salty water, which helps you to float. They close the thing, though, so it's sensory deprivation, too. So you're floating and sensory deprivation at the same time. Can I be born again? Because that would have sound like like you right back in the womb, like she said. Where is that at? They had some, look on Groupon. Every now and again, they used to have it on Groupon, but I would think they have it in every major city. But if you just look up sensory deprivation tanks or saltwater pods, you should be able to find it. I would love to just float in the ocean, but I'd be scared something would bite my butt. I grew up with Jaws, watching Jaws. So. Okay, people. Y'all inbox me if y'all have any questions or topics that y'all um, 
what studio. If y'all have any questions or top Jeju, they I want they don't I don't know if they have it. I know they had those salt room salt salt rooms. I haven't been to Jeju before, which is sad as much as I um yeah, jellyfish. What is it? The groups of jellyfish. Um what they call those? What do they call a group of jellyfish? Come on, y'all should know this. Come on, what is it? Group of jellyfish. What is it? Why don't y'all know this? Jamila, take your ass to bed. <laughs> okay, I'm geared to go for real. That's what you're doing this weekend? Well, I'm jealous. You are most, most, most welcome. I'm an open book. If there's something that, <laughs> that y'all want to know about me, about this path, about this journey, about my life, whatever, let me know. Because if my tears can save you from having to cry them, then I'll be more than happy to share. Um, and I pretty, feel, I pretty much, I feel comfortable saying there's nothing off limits. Okay. I there's nothing off limits. So, cause I know one of the things I've done, um, I've done a YouTube on my abortion and miscarriage experience. Um, the Celestine prophecy. Um, I've done a YouTube on that, but I could um come on in. Just, you know what? Be open where you feel comfortable. Be open about the things that you feel comfortable about. Be open about those things that you have healed in. Do not open yourself up if you have not healed from those things. Because I don't want you to expose yourself and have somebody say something stupid and it, ha it make you have a setback. So in those areas that you're comfortable and that you're healed in, be open. But if you're not comfortable and healed, don't do it. Yes, it's still up. And it might be something that I end up covering here just because I know I have a different audience, but it is still up. It's um I can't remember the title of it, but it had to do with um me getting an abortion and me having miscarriages and kind of how I it had, I think it was like the story and how how I felt about felt about it. But it's been something that people have found um, helpful because in the conscious community, we don't talk about abortions. We don't talk about, you know, there's white women stuff, um, as far as having choices and things, you know, to be made like that. So if that's something that y'all want me to cover, I will be more than happy, um, to cover that for you. And maybe that's a video I need to post on my business page. Yeah. But see Jamila, they act like that's a new, a new thing. You know, like, we ain't never do that. And I'm like, women been making choices for what ancestors they like, <laughs> what ancestors they let come through um, for since we knew that we could, you know. Um, so, yeah. But maybe I'll put that video up on my business page. So my business page on Facebook, you can find them the same thing on uh, Wild Women Do As They Please. Um, Mariah missed it and she asked me for this video. That's okay. Um, she messaging me, so she'll see this later. Uh, oh, you watching now? Hey, wait, which one are you, Mariah? What's it? Are you the bumble, bumblebee? <laughs> she messaging me on my Facebook Messenger, but I don't know. She said she watching it, but I don't know who she is on here because people's names don't match. Um, but yeah, I can cover those if y'all want me to. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to try to find the video and post it to my business wall. So if there are no more questions, if all hearts and minds are clear, let us give the benediction. All hearts and minds clear. I guess so. <laughs> Thank you. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Sweet dreams. Um. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams, sweet dreams. Thank y'all for watching. I really do appreciate this. Do not inbox me, Jamila. You are the one person that cannot inbox me. Do not inbox me singing any weird songs. You can let the baby inbox me. Love y'all. Let's see if this will turn off. <laughs>